Bitcoin is over $20,000. Do Kwan is still on the run and trying to move some big numbers in Bitcoin. And lastly, I'm going to talk about uh, this one cryptocurrency project that is showing all the right things in terms of longevity and survival of cryptocurrencies in the long run. Really bullish on this project. But first, hit like, hit subscribe, check out the CT Club down below in the video description where we're giving our portfolio updates, trade alerts, market updates, a lot of information. It's a really cool community as well. Um, so welcome to Crypto Tips. My name is Heidi and today we're talking about, like I said, Bitcoin is over $20,000. A lot of people want to take profits at these levels. Will they regret that uh, decision? Is Bitcoin going to go on a tear? Um, this is a very psychological number for Bitcoin investors and everyone has their eyes on $20,000. If it goes up from here, uh, I mean, is this the confirmation that the bear market is over, that we are, that the bottom is in and we are moving up? You know, Toby is often saying, we survived the UST collapse. We survived the massive deleveraging events from Celsius and Voyager um, and Bitcoin went down to 17. What is, it, what is going to happen next to, to bring uh, Bitcoin even lower? Very skeptical that we're going to see much lower lows than we have already. Uh, but so $20,000 is a big deal for Bitcoin. Next up, Do Kwan, there's been, he's, there's a red notice been issued from Interpol. He is wanted in 195 different countries. And so now basically this red notice means that uh, anyone who, who has eyes on Do Kwan, arrest him and bring him to uh, South Korea, basically where that ar arrest warrant has been issued. But most recently what's come out now is that uh, Do Kwan has created a, a wallet holding 3,000 Bitcoin, over 3,000 Bitcoin. He sent basically roughly half of it to OKX and half of it to KuCoin. KuCoin immediately froze those funds thanks to the request made by uh, law enforcement and OKX did not. So he still has some liquid Bitcoin, like a thousand, over a thousand Bitcoin on OKX. He was able to move. He's probably moving it um, shortly thereafter. Uh, but where were these 3000 Bitcoins coming from? You know, he was supposedly he drained all the funds to prop up the price of Luna. Uh, but maybe, you know, he, he kept a few in his back pocket. I think that's obviously what happened. This guy is a super shady character. He, he's a constant source of information for us to talk about and a, a, a case for us to all study as to how bad it can go wrong in crypto. So Do Kwan, when is he going to get arrested? That's a question. Uh, when are they finally going to apprehend him? I think that's coming very soon. Now, lastly, I want to talk about Cosmos. They recently updated their white paper because Cosmos has fulfilled their initial plans of creating an interoperable blockchain, uh, an interoperable ecosystem. And now they are looking to how they can further bolster this security wise uh, and, and interoperability wise as well as facilitating uh, cross chain interactions. I think this is a huge, I mean, I've always been bullish on interoperability. I've been talking about that since like 2017. Um, and it's going to become even more apparent and even more valuable because we're seeing exchanges are the most, val most uh, vulnerable position and, and uh, bottleneck of cryptocurrencies. Even decentralized exchanges as well aren't as perfectly decentralized as we would like them to be. And that will be tested in the future by any kind of government, any kind of regulatory body. They're going to try to snuff out as much as they can. And exchanges are an easy target for them. So any cryptocurrency that is facilitating cross-chain interoperability that takes out the need for exchanges altogether will be incredibly valuable. Um, so Cosmos has done a lot already. Now they're looking at adding liquid staking and also interchain security. So bringing security to as many different aspects of this ecosystem as possible, as well as, you know, having Atom as kind of their reserve currency 
and you can use that to help secure the network through staking while still having liquidity of those tokens as well. So very similar to what we saw with Lido staking, for example, staking Ethereum. You stake your Ethereum and then you get your liquid uh, tokens, your staked ETH tokens as well. So you can still uh, take advantage of the liquidity as well. So that's what Cosmos is working on. Uh, really bullish on this one. Also, this is uh, the ecosystem that ThorChain has been built on as well. Another classic inter uh, interoperability cross-chain uh, transactions for native assets like Bitcoin, ThorChain. Bear with me, I will be returning to Portugal uh, in the semi near future and when I do that I'll be back in my studio and I'll be doing much more tutorials with ThorChain being first on the list. Um, that's going to wrap it up to for today everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hit like, hit subscribe. I'll see you again real soon. Stay happy and healthy. Bye guys.